We're in Warren County, McMinnville, and we're visiting Jamie Wynn today. And Jamie's relatively new to Middle Tennessee, and she is, like most of us, gardening and learning at the same time. Um, I want to mention all your beautiful signs here, Jamie. I love the, the, hand, the handmade look yes, to I this. Yes, I did. That's what I do in my winter months when I don't have anything to do. <laughs> we don't have anything to do. <laughs> I notice a lot of uh, home gardeners would be envious of your fencing here, obviously, to keep the deer out. Yes. Yes. And do they still jump over and, and eat things? No, I haven't had really any problems so far with any animals other than birds and maybe a few rabbits every now and then. Your squash is looking very good this year. Any secrets? Have you learned anything? No, not really, just um, about uh, moving your crops around. And last year they were on the other side of the garden and this year I guess they're pretty happy where I, I put them. I hear chickens in the background. What kind of fertilization do you use? I use all the chicken waste in the garden. Um, I have a pile over there, and during the winter months, I, I throw it all in the garden, and then it's all tilled in. And so how many hours are you out here? I see it's freshly tilled. I'm out here um, several hours a day. Picking uh -huh. weeds, weeds are probably my biggest challenge. Well, your garden is very neat and tidy, that's for sure. I'm impressed by that. And so you've had some uh, challenges with the corn as well. Yes, I do think maybe that was my fault on, on the first rows. I don't know if I let my seeds sit out too long before I planted them. I'm, that's part of my learning experience. Well, gardening, if you stop learning, you stop growing. And if you stop growing, yes. you stop gardening. <laughs> so I think you're, that's the yes. only way, trial and error. Yes. And I noticed behind me you have some kind of beans growing up that beautiful fence behind us. Yes, those are my green beans and crowder peas. I understand you love to grow potatoes. Can you tell me why? I love digging them up uh -huh. because it's like a box of chocolates. You just don't know how many you're going to get. <laughs> you are very proud of this broccoli and I can see why it's just starting to come to head. Tell me about your broccoli. Well, last year I planted it. It did terrible. The bugs ate it up before I could even take a hold of it. And uh, that's a whole nother thing I'm learning is, is about the bugs. Mm -hmm. um, but this year, for the most part, they're, they're popping up. I think they come up overnight, um, but, but they're, they're doing pretty good. So I'm, I'm very happy about that. Do you have a mentor anywhere that's helping you learn about your vegetables and how to combat the insects and um, fungus and all that good stuff? Well, I took a master gardener's class mm -hmm. and, and I did get a lot of information. It was a little overwhelming, mm -hmm. um, but uh, I, did, I did learn a lot from that. I noticed you have marigolds planted at the end of each row. Does that serve a purpose? The marigolds supposedly um, deter some of the pests mm -hmm. and I did try to plant them in between some of the plants as well. Um, and I had heard radishes as well. I did plant a few radishes in between. Um, did you do that in years past as well, or is that something no, new? And no. do you think you've noticed a difference? Um, I do think I've noticed a difference with the marigolds, definitely. Well, that's definitely. good for other people to learn, yeah. yeah. These are my cucumbers. And these are the tomatoes you were talking about. They're kind of short and squatty this yes, year? Yes, they're, they're just not producing, and possibly my soil could be too dry right now, but even when I put them in, we had an abundance of rain, mm -hmm. but um, I'm not sure. Well, really that's how we learn. Know. You mentioned that you can and freeze. Are you self-taught with that as well? Yes, I am. I have, um, I do a lot of internet research and a lot of experimenting. It's very inspirational for people that have never tried it to hear somebody admit that they're learning as they go. So perhaps they'll be encouraged to try it as well. Yes, I mean, it's really fun in the, the winter time and you go in the pantry and you pull out some, some stuff that you had grown and canned. It's, it's, it's really fun. I can a lot of tomatoes. I make pasta sauce. Great. And so what do you freeze then? I mainly freeze my beans. Um, the the crowder peas are a big thing. I froze my eggplant, squash, zucchini uh, for soups and stuff. I dice it up and then put it away. Great. And I noticed you have one of my favorite things here, a little plot of herbs. And this is new for you this year as well? Yes. A friend of mine gave me a whole bunch of different herbs and I've been experimenting with them, still learning. Um, 
but I do use them. I actually cut them up a lot of times and, and put them in my chicken coop. And, you know, of course I cook with them too. And I see a volunteer sunflower I just passed. He's gonna be a big one. Yes. And some zinnias and some other stuff, fun stuff. Well, I just wanna tell you, thank you very much for inviting us out here to your little piece of Eden. It's gorgeous. Thank you. Thank you for coming. And I want you to know that other people and other viewers will really appreciate the fact that they're not the only ones struggling with things, that it is really a learning process. Thank you for inviting us today. Thank you. For inspiring garden tours, growing tips, and garden projects, visit our website at volunteergardener.org or on YouTube at the Volunteer Gardener channel and like us on Facebook.